it from time to time. Just every bit of... Oh! What in God's green earth did I just witness last night? Up until the sixth round, bro, I thought the fight was tied. It could have honestly gone either way. But then in that sixth round, bro, my man Jake Paul put his his life, bro, his his energy, his soul into that one fucking right hand, bro. And good fucking God, it landed. Like, I'm going to be honest, bro. That's complete respect, man. That was a devastating KO. And no one can take that away from him. Like, those are those highlight real punches that you fucking crack, bro. You know what I mean? I... Let me show you. All right, I got to bend down for this because it doesn't fit in the frame. Visual representation of what happened yesterday. No. 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 No way. I fucking broke it. Yo, I broke it. There's a hole in this thing, bro. No. God fucking damn it. No, why? You hate to see it. What the fuck? Bro, here I am making a video about Jake Paul, which I'm already pissed about. And in making this video, I pop a fucking gift from my homie, bro. Gerb. If you're watching this, bro, I didn't mean to, man. I'm fucking barred, bro. I use that shit in my room all the time. But you know, like, it's like I got that knockout power, though. <laughs> you know, what you know about, what you know about these, though, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I gotta say this, bro. Well done to Jake Paul. He's definitely proven that he's a fighter. My man got a deep ass cut from a headbutt and he continued fighting. Not many people can say they can do that. And not many people can actually do that, bro. He's taking shots from a former UFC champion and he knocked him the fuck out. Now, by no means do I like the guy. Jesus Christ, he's, he's disgusting. But I definitely respect the dude. You gotta acknowledge that Jake Paul puts in the work. He puts in the time when it comes to boxing, bro. Look at his physique, man. He looks good. He looks in shape. You can tell he's training hard. I'm not going to be talking about peds because I don't got enough knowledge to be making those claims, but who knows, man. But I do respect the dude because he puts in the work. I don't like the dude because he sacrificed morals and ethics just for the bag and to gain popularity. I remember I watched his mini documentary that he posted and he was like super upset about all the hate he receives and this and that and that. It's like, bro, it would be one thing if you were getting that hate and it wasn't really justified, but you act like a pure prick on camera. So what do you expect? Don't be begging for sympathy. Don't be saying like, oh, why is this happening? To me? Bro, you know why it's happening to you? Because of you. I mean, it's working on me man i'm talking about i'm bringing attention to him i'm bringing his name to surface you know what i mean when it when it gets to the big leagues like when you got 414 subscribers like like me you know what i mean like the influence i carry I, just, I, I couldn't go along with it, bro. But on a real, it's like, if you're gonna act the way you act, bro, be prepared to face the repercussions. And I honestly say that he's done well for himself. You gotta have a lot of mental toughness to deal with what that dude dealt with. Like, who remembers when Jake Paul, and he still kind of is, but like, everyone hated Jake Paul. Like, it was fuck the Pauls movement. I feel like they've slowly broken out of it. I will say, bro that fight up until the ko clearly showed that jake paul is not the type of boxer that he claims to be bro i'm gonna be honest watching that fight bro he wasn't really impressive at all you're just jealous because he's got all the money and the girls man you're just a fat greasy fuck sitting in your room fair nah but on a real bro it's like i'm not even looking at this from the bias of oh fuck jake paul I'm looking at this from a dude who's claiming that he could beat Canelo in three years. Like, we need to understand this, bro. We can't be downplaying Jake Paul, bro. He's been training boxing for like three, almost four years now. When you put your time into something like he has been doing, you're bound to get some sort of ability when it comes to it. But it's like, man, I've been following boxing since the whole KSI Joe Weller thing. I know some people find that hilarious, but I have. I participate in the sport, like I box myself, so it's like I could kind of have an insight on this. I hate the casuals that just see the one punch KO and act like, oh, dude's a fucking god. I'll acknowledge this. He puts in the time. He definitely hits hard. But it's like at the same time, bro, he's a cruiserweight. 
All of them hit hard. Cruiserweight is literally the division right below heavyweight. Those are some big ass dudes. I mean, if you just look back at the fight, you can just pick up a few things right off rip. The dude has zero defense, bro. The head movement is non-existent. Dude, there were a few moments in the fight where my man is balancing on one leg while throwing combos, bro. Where is the footwork? Bro, he even has some combos where he throws with his fucking eyes facing the floor, bro. What the fuck are you doing, bro? I mean, the joke's on me, bro. He knocked the fuck out of Tyron Woodley, but it's like, what were you doing before that, bro? People are just gonna take this as a fuck Jake Paul video, but it's really not. I feel like I'm just being honest and real with what he actually is. I feel like he talks a bigger game than he can actually bring to the table. Dude, who the fuck wanted you to fight Nate Robinson, bro? No one did. And don't even get me started on Ben Askren, bro. Sure, he's a great combat sports athlete and he's done a lot of stuff in the sport. But people need to realize, bro, boxing is one aspect of MMA. MMA is mixed martial arts, bro. MMA literally takes the good things from each and every combat sport and puts it into one fucking jumbled up ball of goodness. If you were to watch a kickboxer versus a boxer, the kickboxer would probably win. Just because boxing focuses on only landing your punches. There's footwork involved, but the footwork is to aim the punches to land on the target. It's pretty one dimensional when you compare it to other striking combat sports like kickboxing. If you were to step in with the jab and you get your front leg kicked, then you're off balance, can't really throw the fucking right cross, bro. So it's like things like that just expose boxing for what it is. And secondly, bro, Ben Askren's not even a striker, bro. He's a wrestler. So it's like, what makes you think that he's gonna have any sort of success in a boxing ring? Have you seen how slow his punches are, bro? A 90 year old woman could punch faster than him, man. Fair play for the Woodley fight. Like I thought Woodley was gonna beat his ass. The first fight was all right. And the second fight, to be honest, was worse than the first fight up until the KO. Like Jake's the taller fighter, bro. Where was his jab in the whole fight? The only thing keeping Woodley at bay was himself. Like, Woodley, what are you doing, bro? Why are you not putting pressure? My my man is so scared and tired. I mean, fair play, bro. He came in on two weeks notice. So it's like, you know, homie is game. But it's like, I feel like people need to understand there's a difference between staying in shape and being in fighting shape. There's a reason why training camps only last like six, eight, 12 weeks. Put your body through intense ass training to get you ready for this one war. And then you recover after. Training camps aren't sustainable because you're putting your body through so much and it requires so much recovery. You'll fuck yourself up if you keep going like a training camp. But yeah, man, I don't know. I I, I think I'm gonna put my life savings on every Jake Paul fight because I just don't see him losing. He's the A-side. He's gonna take fights when it only benefits him. He's going to take fights when it only is on his terms. He's never going to be the odd one out. He's always going to be the one who's basking in the whole event, taking control, just because that's what the dude does. And honestly, it's smart. That's what he should be doing, in all honesty. Why would he be listening to a bunch of dumbasses online who are calling him stupid, ugly, whatever? Why does their opinion matter? Dude's just making a good life for himself and fair play bro but it's like come on man do not tell me that the dude is a phenomenal boxer or he's a good boxer like he's all right dude definitely has ability and i'd go as far as to say that him or logan are probably the best youtube boxers to come out of this whole event i i, I had so much stuff to say like i definitely missed some stuff just because like your boy's running on like one hour of sleep just got back from work bro like i'm tired and angry bro but anyways your boy will be back to uploading pretty soon guys i also have started streaming on my youtube channel so come and check me out whenever i'm live make sure to subscribe turn on the post notice so you know when i'm uploading and i'm live like the damn video comment down below if if you think i'm cute but anyways it's been your boy raf y'all have yourselves a good one and i'll see you guys next time You just hate to see it, man.